Hey YouTube, welcome to Pyroman 87's first official fireworks video. Tonight we're going to be looking at my new Christmas gift, the Sparkfire firing system from RemoteFiringSystems.com and I will actually put a link in the description for that. You can check out the website and check out the array of systems that are available. So. This is the Sparkfire 32i, which means 32 cues, and the i represents internal battery, which can be recharged using these nice chargers. And really excited about that because, well, in a moment I'll show you what kind of system I've been using for the last couple years, and it used batteries, and obviously having to go through a ton of batteries every summer doing firework shows just wasn't very much fun. Also having only 12 cues wasn't that great either because you had to keep resetting your fireworks every couple minutes. But with the spark fire in addition to my older 12 q battery operated system it should give me enough cues at least for now and in the near future so I can at least put on a pretty good firework show. But anyways, just kind of wanted to show you the spark fire and then show you the older system. Just kind of do a quick run through of it. Not really going to go into detail on how to use it. Again, I'll post the link to remotefiringsystems.com in the video description. You can go on the website. You can actually look at the videos on how to run these systems, how to arm them, how to operate them. But just kind of want to show you what it was about. Um, really nice, well-built system. Comes with its armored case. Really great for being out in the field and you know all the firework debris raining down on it. You don't want to get your system damaged, so the case definitely helps with that. And you can see the transmitter or remote that it comes with. It's got buttons A through D don't know you can see that and then the numbers 1 through 8 and what that corresponds to are these different are these different sections on the firing system so if you can see my finger this is A B up here is C and then D and each one of these 1 through 8 so you have A 1 through 8 B 1 through 8 C 1 through 8 and D 1 through 8 and when you're using the remote you'd pretty much press A and then 1 to set off Q1, 2 to set off A2, 3 to set off A3 and so on and so forth and you'd follow that with B, C, and D. So I'll just turn it on for a, for a second. You can kind of see what it looks like turned on we got 12.5 volts that's pretty good kind of jumps between 12.3 and 12.5 but that doesn't matter because those are still very strong right now this is in learning mode when you first get the system you'll want to press the learn button so you can mate it to your specific transmitter then we got the test mode you can see all the diodes being lit up Basically, once you have all your igniters in and you're about to fire your show, just turn on the test button, make sure your system has enough really good continuity. And if any of these lights were to not come on when you've got all your igniters hooked up or E-match hooked up, then you know that you've got a problem somewhere and you'll want to double check all your connections, starting with, of course, the igniters themselves. And then, of course, arming mode, firing mode, the really fun mode, as I call it. And I can just kind of flip on the remote for a minute. Again, it's probably really hard to see with the light on it, but these buttons are actually backlit. So you're using this at night, your buttons are backlit. Really nice feature. And again, the uh, instructional videos online explain explain the remote even better than I will. 
But just to kind of show you an example, we're going to press A, and then 1 on the remote. You see that little light? There's actually two of these, A1 and B8, or rather D8, actually have that light that comes on. That's just to kind of tell you that, hey, your system is connecting, it's receiving the transmission from the remote, and you are good to go, ready to fire. It's just a nice, simple way to kind of test out your system, make sure that you've actually got, you know, a connection between the remote and the system, and then just kind of going down the line, A2, A3, A4, A5, 6, 7, and 8. So as you can see, there was A1 through 8, and you just repeat that with B, C, and D for a total of 32 Qs. But looks like it's going to be a really great system. I'm looking forward to testing out some stuff. Hopefully, I'll get some video of product being tested over the next few months. Well, certainly when it gets warmer out. Now we're going to turn this guy off. And I just kind of wanted to briefly show you the older firing system I've been using, which was a Quantum Fire 2x6. You've got these two little modules with six each and pretty standard remote that had 1 through 12. These were battery operated and while they got the job done, like I said earlier, you'd be out in the field and you'd have to pretty much keep changing fireworks every 12. So as you can imagine, having a ton of fireworks, having only 12 cues to work with, not really a not really a lot of fun, but with the spark fire system, you know, you can really mix and match how you use these modules now. So these could be, these uh, battery operated ones could be used first or they could be used in the middle of your show. More than likely not going to be hooked up to my finale sequence just because you definitely want to make sure that that goes off correctly. So the best fireworks will definitely be hooked on the spark fire because we can guarantee that <laughs> we'll have enough power to fire anything from that versus these battery operated ones which they get the job done but you know you'd rather be safe than sorry so anyways this was just a quick rundown on my new firing system and just kind of briefly showing you my older system and like I said hopefully we'll be getting some product video up some firework reviews and some firework demos using the newer system. So stay tuned for that and, you know, comment, let me know what you think. And like I said, I'll have the link for these uh, spark fire systems and other fine systems that he offers in the description of the video. So till next time.